Hey, hello, and welcome back to Limar City. You know, in all the times that I recorded Limar City, not a single time have I done it exclusively from this here chair, just like just laying back, enjoying myself. You know, wait, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to do. Okay, that did not work at all. I was trying to. You know, do this and like lean back, lean, and I tried to lean back so that I just fell. <laughs> Except it did not work at all, and you can probably tell why. Anyway, the point. Anyway, sorry, I just totally ruined the element here. That whatever it is, it's not an element. It's an environment. Uh, don't ask. All right. Ah, sorry, I was leaning back. I think. Lean um, <clears throat> back. Shut up. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> you know, it, <coughs> it's botched. Whatever. Let's do it like I'd normally do. I'll try it another day. Ugh. For now. Hey, hey, Brainiac. Hey, stop it. What? Do you even know what Brainiac means? Yeah, it's ironic, dude. It's humorous. Uh, formal. Uh, an exceptionally intelligent person. Huh? Um, okay, well, I'm being ironic when I say it. It doesn't say it's ironic, does it? Any word can be used ironically. Like, like, um, I, I could say, <laughs> you, um, um, you totally, uh, oh, ooh, 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 uh, uh, I could say, huh. You JL. <laughs> okay, that's. I just please shut up. <clears throat> you got nothing good to say today. Ah, nice start. Finish every game to make progress toward your training goals. You have several remaining. <laughs> uh. I like this teeth glinting off the, the whatever light that is. It means right into the camera. Yeah. Ah. I feel today okay. It probably has something to do with my lack of interesting things to talk about and lack of. You know, it's been like how many days since my last episode recording day? And yet. I have nothing good to talk about. And so I was saying, life? <laughs> nowhere. It's, it's going there to nowhere. Oh, it's a little blue. Ooh, I watched Independence Day. I did that, though. And today, I just ate, like, I think I mentioned this, 18,000 pounds of barbecue. And that was, that was delicious. And also, it, well, it was delicious, like, in the first pound or so. And I was like, oh, God. Um... Oh, no, there's more. Uh, but I ate it all. I'm exaggerating. Slightly. I'm not under-exaggerating in my... in my slight. I'm saying that. Uh, anyway, the point is that we are going to say... I'm, I said, no, 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 I was saying seven. Seven, I said seven. I said eight before, now it's seven. Or did I say seven before, now it's eight? No, I, I know what I say. I say eight, so now it's seven. By the rules... ESP. Activate. Hey, I'm your ESP. Are you stereotyped? Um, maybe. Ah, uh, you better be. If you're not stereotyped, it's not funny at all. What stereotype are you? I... I won't say. Well, great. That's probably better than political correctness state. All right. Good. Ah, you, you select me... Let me in have the reins. Let me tell you what this is. I say it's diagonal. Now, you know, I don't... Are you sure the last one even had diagonal? Yes, trust me. Oh, it's not. Okay, um, it's thick. A thick outline. Now I'm certain. But why weren't you certain before? I mean, why do you even speak of your certain? Why? Uh, whatever. No, no, no. It's, it's got, um, but you, uh, you didn't ask me the press left it. 
think you did it. Now. You didn't say the press left again. You said, you said, wait, you sing left. Wait, you saying the press left. Wait, no, that makes no sense. If you press left, it would have worked all this time. Yeah, that's not a right move. You just change accents. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's left and don't you realize? Now shut the heck up. No, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm just randomly doing it now. Oh, it almost worked too. Blah. Ahem. <clears throat> Go to away. I'm gonna play Strop Tune. Get, get my. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play against a chimp I can actually beat. Ha! Coco! <laughs> You're going down. Find them. Can actually make a chimp go down. Wait a minute, you look just like. Mrs. Jones. You know, let's just go through all the names because it's kind of funny. Bubbles. Wow, you look angry, Bubbles. This is perhaps because you so suck. At this game, <laughs> over oh, the bottom of a ladder, <laughs> what, a, what a humiliating place to be. Got yourself a whatever the whatever you call that thing there, and a little whatever you call that thing, pacifier and bonnet. I guess it's a bonnet. I don't know if it's a bonnet or not, but I'll just call it bonnet. How <laughs> humiliating, bubbles, flow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wonder why you call flow. I don't really need to wonder about that. I know why you call flow. No, I don't really know why you call flow. I mean, I do, but I don't. I mean, I don't really know anything. I mean, if I knew anything, then I know why you call flow. If I don't know anything, then I know why you call flow because I just made it up, made up a reason. I was like, yeah, it's a reason. So I don't really know why you call flow. I just know you all call flow. Let's move on. Big Willy. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, do I really want to go through with the No, I don't really want to. Alright, uh, good. I, think, I don't know if a willy means what I think a willy means. You know, just, just move on. Just forget it. Forget it. Miss Jones, right? Captain Baker. Wait. Mrs. J... So, chimpanzees get married as well. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Captain Baker. Ah, yes. Alright, so this is. Right, if we're gonna go through roles that chimpanzees are involved in. Okay, they are babies. Right, it's true. They wear sunglasses. Oh, I saw one the other day just wearing sunglasses. They play basketball. Yo, have you ever. You got rabbits, and you got whatever the heck that animal was, and you got Tasmanian devils, and you got like. Um, I don't really know what the animal was, was either, but like, it's playing basketball as well. Yeah, it's like a whole bunch of them playing basketball in Space Jam, and it's the only way place to see it. But still, and I. It's, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go, whatever they call it. It's so long since I saw that stupid movie. So stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a bad movie. But it's. Well, it's not terrible. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. Because I've seen, cross me, I've seen some really bad movies. Yeah. But, all I'll say about Space Jam. And I really, there's no reason I have to say anything about Space Jam. It's Lumosity! Come on! We're on game one! What's, what would it work? And I wonder why my life is going nowhere. I don't really know, wonder why my life is going nowhere. It just happens. It's just, why is it going nowhere? Well, I don't take it anywhere, that's why. I mean, well, how would I have any reason to go anywhere if I don't take it anywhere? Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, Miss June. Oh, yeah, Space Jam. Sorry, we're talking about Space Jam. Um, also, with Space Jam, is that it's not nearly as good in any way as, I guess, the next one I made with Looney Tunes, which was... Um, back in action. Oh my gosh. That. That was a good film. It's probably one of my favorite films of all time. It's so good, in fact, that 
and the quotes in it are so good, so funny, or whatever they are, that you that there's actually a wicked quote for at least a period of time, and that's a true fact. It, it's not there now. I'm not sure why it was there in the first place, because it doesn't seem like that kind of movie, but whatever. It has some great quotes in it. That's true. And Captain Baker is a... Uh, okay. What are you, lawyer? Teacher? Probably teacher, right? Okay. Yeah. Them the top uh, chimpanzee. But I've certainly had teachers that were dumber than chimpanzees. So, I'll say you could do it. Chimpanzee? Good. Good for you, being, being a teacher. Captain Baker... Astronaut! Yeah, weren't you before humans? Alright. Well, good for you, sir. You've been in space, or at least you know how to salute. And in a spacesuit. Good. Good for you. Okay. But moving on. Coco! I don't know why Coco is. What are you, liars? I don't know why Coco is so smart at this. But anyway, Coco is supposed to be smart at this. So we're going to see how smart Coco is at this, and I'm going to. And we're going to see if it's not smart enough to beat. Mwah! Ha 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 ha! Look, he's winning already! Oh, oh, is it me? It's me, isn't it? No, why, Coco? Are you getting the exact same things that the other champ bets? Except for here, when it's five. Yes. Five. It's not quite six, is it? What, are you not as smart? Are you admitting to not being as smart as the other one? Hmm? As the rocket scientist one? Or is he a rocket scientist? Whatever the heck he is. Just a, just a chimp with a beaker. A laboratory chimp. Probably, of all of them, the chimpanzee in the most horribly pain, uh, bad life, you know? Ugh, being experimented on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ah, ooh, yeah. Brain transplants. Ugh, it's just bad stuff, you know. Ah! Yes. <laughs> yeah, I should really pay attention. I should really pay attention. I'm, I'm so cocky right now. No reason to be. No reason. Well, now I do. <laughs> I'm cleaning up. <laughs> I'm still beating you. Now we just hold it out to the very end. Just hold the line. That's what we gotta do. We'll just hold the line. One more round. Hold the line. Alright, this is where things get intense. Except that seven is actually intense and six is not really that intense. One, four, five, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Win. Yay! We just barely squeezed out of victory against Coco. The second the top chimp. So, improving that, improved yet again that I would have lost most uh, most happily against the big, big chimp. Whatever his name is. Liam Chipsky. Ah, dude. I suck. Alright. Entire co blog in Koi Pond. Yay, computer lag. Woot. Um, let's, let's move on. Can you believe it? We're on game two! Yeah! You know what? I've got an idea. Since I am a writer, physicist, writer, wait, I got that one right, uh, composer, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make fun of how little things I can do. It's, it, I thought that'd be funny. To say, since I'm all of these things, I should just be a film critic too. Yeah, cause that, cause I, I can do so many things, and I'm also film. Except I can't do that many things, so it doesn't make any sense. Why, in addition, all those things, I'd be able to be a film critic. You know, cause I can barely hold my teeth in my head. But in fact, I can actually do quite a few things. When you're, um, well, at least when you're, ah. Uh, Requirements for 
doing those things, for acknowledging that those things are done by a person, are very uh, lax, shall we say. So, I am a humorist, comedian, stand-up, improv dude, uh, um, uh, a, a radio personality, um, a uh, YouTube uh, uh, game player, player, gamist, gamer, board gamer, uh, writer, music composer, um, game writer, uh, uh, animator, um, like editor, uh, uh, um, I do lots of stuff, really, really badly. <laughs> anyway, so I was thinking, yeah, it'll be fun, in addition to all those many things I do terribly, let's also do film creaking. Whatever the verb for that is. Critiquing doesn't really work. Critiquing doesn't work. Criticizing doesn't work. Nothing works there. Hmm. Well, dictionary. <coughs> Critic. What is the verb? There is no verb. Dad, blast it. All right. Moving on. Face memory workouts. All right. So, um, what is the film I've seen? All right. got to start with the film, first of all. Okay. Uh, The Fifth Element. Was that good? Yes. All right. Uh, moving on. Another film. Um, Ether. Uh, Project Ether. Well, oh, that was a good film. Oh, I loved it. Oh, it's just terrible. No, it was good. No, it was bad. Ah, I don't even know whether it was good or bad. Because I didn't understand any part of it. So, uh, I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt and say it was good. Because it was, um, like, uh, I was, like, one of the only people who have ever seen it ever. It was, like, one of the very few private screenings I've gone to. And I really, absolutely have no clue how the heck I got to be seeing it in the first place. But I did. And no one else, well, I mean, some people have seen it otherwise, other than me. But very few people have seen it. So, I'm going to say, oh, Project Ether, best movie ever made. But alas, not many people have seen it. It's incredible, incredibleness has been lost in the world at large. Oh, it's so sad. Oh. But alas, I, in truth, had pretty much no idea what was going on. Um, so, yeah, what, the way I remember it is that it, um, well, you don't, you, you don't really know what's going on the whole time, but then, in the end, you realize that everything you thought was going on was actually wrong, and you're like, uh, what? Also, there are, like, characters, and they're, like, are in it for, like, one frame, and then the next frame they're in as well, but then those frames come together into a scene, and you're like, wait, um, that was a good scene and all, but who, who, why, where, and then they never come again, and so, uh, well, except they do it one more time, and I'm like, wait, okay, well, that's another good scene, okay, so yeah, it's a good, it's a good character, all right, but really, really, what's a, what's a good, um, criticism here, not criticism, just observationist, yeah. Is that, uh, no, not that it's they get introduced and then they appear again, but that they're introduced and I'm like, wait, well, how did they tie into the story? You know? It's like at the beginning of Sharknado, two dudes are like doing something on like this ship, and spoiler alert, Shark comes and eats them both, and you're like, dude, what? Why does this mean anything? Tie into anything? Why? why where? When? How? Okay, we know when, we know where, sorta. Of. We know why, we don't really know why. We know why, because it's a stupid movie, it's stupid. And that's what's so great about it, except it's not great. Well, I don't know, I like, did I like it? No, I hate it. Sharknado, I hate it. Oh, I can see the hate now. If anyone actually sees this, they won't though. Ah, uh, it's probably fortunate. Uh, more people know my face, more people that 
will recognize me in the crowd and say, Oh my gosh. Uh, I've been saving my vomit for just this moment. Then I was like... No. I must save it. For just the right moment where I can see him and throw up on him. Let me see me. My way for this moment. And then I throw up on me. But if there's no one who seizes, then no one will throw up on me. So that's good. That's, good. that's, a, that's a good reason. Okay. Alright, and on that vomit coloured note, actually I was going to eat a habanero in this episode, but I didn't. But I have to eat it in next episode because it is becoming very, very ripe. And of course, by that I mean it is rotten. But that mean, I mean it's actually melded. Sort of. I don't know. I don't really know what you call it. All I know is that it used to be kind of firm, you know. And now it's kind of, well, very squishy. You know, like you touch it and your finger goes through the other side. That kind of squishy. It, it's bad. But I'm going to eat it next to so Because health, <clears throat> illness, <clears throat> pepper going to waste. Never. Gotta eat it. Never let one go to waste. All right, my score sucks. This episode's over. Thanks for watching it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. It's more dramatic. Rendering of what I've been doing this entire episode. This entire grossly disgusting episode. Now is the end. Now I'll let you go. You got more vomit for me? Right on, bro. Bring it right here. Ah. Mm, free meals. Bye.